Hello C programmer, in this video I'm going to show you how to use two library function when you're dealing with single character. Now the name of the function that I'm going to show you is get character and another one is put character. So I'm sure after watching this video you will be able to know how to use this two library function when you are dealing with single character. Now first of all whatever I have here I don't want to run them so in this case I can just comment and I can leave them as a backup so I'm not going to delete them but I'm just keeping it maybe later on I can use them. So this is one more trick that you're going to learn here if you don't want to delete something you can keep them and you can command. So they are not going to be executed when you are going to compile this code later on. So let's do that. We are targeting to learn how to use this two library function. Now the get character function is used to read a single character from the user. On the other hand, the put character function is used to display a character. Now, of course, I know you already know how to get, take user input. So let me show you here with the printf. I'm going to give a message to the user and I will tell them, hey, enter a letter. All right, this is nice. And the user will give us the letter and we can store that value, the single character inside this letter variable, right? So we know how to do this. So far we have used scanf and then we use person d because we want to store the character type value. And there you go. Great. And then we also know how to print this value later on. So let's do that as well. So let's say you entered, this is a message I want to show and whatever the value was given by the user inside this letter variable i want to print that so in this case i have to say person c because i'm going to print the character type variable here and then i will use the name of the variable that's all this is something we already know and i can run this program to show you again what happened here so give me a moment there you go and let me take on this right hand side and what happened if I run this again, you can see it says enter a letter. So we can give a letter here. For an instance, I'm going to give the letter M and it shows you entered M. So it's working completely fine. I can just use a new line just to make it a little bit better. Let me bring this one on the right hand side and let's see what happened if I run again. All right, again, it's asking to us to provide a value. I'm going to provide a letter here called Z. And then if I run it, you can see you enter Z. So this is something we did earlier. Now we know this is completely valid, but instead of this, we are going to use get character function to get a single character from the user. So let's do that. I will do it here, but I'm just commenting it uh, so that you can see the difference when I'm going to use the get character function. So let's do that with the help of get character function. We can get a character from the user and then where you want to store that character, you have to define it here. So now we are going to take a character, single character from the user, and then that will be stored inside this variable called letter. That's all. So you can see you can use scanf or you can use this procedure both are fine i think you are already understanding it how basically we are taking user input and now after that instead of this printf you can use put character as well so let me show you what what do i wanted to do at first i will be using this you uh, you entered this text i want to display and then i want to print the character so in this case I can use put character if you want to print out a single character you can do this with the help of this function and then you can just provide the variable name here that's all so if I run this program you know what's going to happen at first this will be displayed enter a letter you will give a value and that value will be stored inside this letter variable then you are printing you entered and then single character will be printed that's all let me run this again so it's asking me to provide a value or provide a letter I'm just providing it and you can see you entered M. Well, after that, I could print a new line with the help of, you know, printf. That's all. Let's check it out again. And let me run. Let's see what happened. Same thing is happening, but we're doing it a different way with the help of a library function here called put character. And we all already know how to use get character library function. So remember, these are two library function that you can use when you are reading a single character or when you are displaying a single character.